Emily stands for Emergency Integrated Life Saving Lanyard. The families of the drowning victims, Emily McDonald and Corey Ernster, donated the robot in their honor. Emily's mother said when she heard the name for the life saving device was the same as her daughter's, she felt it was a calling to help others. The families of the victims used the life insurance money from Corey to donate the robots today in hopes of saving other lives. But this was just a great fit for really carrying on their legacy and just trying to make people aware. So we, we don't want any other families ever to have uh, this the pain that we're still feeling every day. Emily and Corey were pulled out of the lake and CPR was performed, but it was too late. The robot is hoping to help in similar situations because with drowning, time is everything. Drowning takes place in less than three minutes. If you don't recover somebody in three minutes, they are going to be recovered with irreversible um, brain damage. And so we thought this tool would be awesome because the lifeguards are already doing their job, but this buys the lifeguard and the victims more time. And if it's a multiple drowning like our kids experienced and a family just a few weeks before ours, if there was an Emily unit out there, more people could have been saved. Emily is a remote controlled paddle boat providing flotation to a victim and can travel up to 25 miles per hour through the waves and currents. Today was the first time the family saw Emily in action. Gavin, a lifeguard from New Buffalo, tested the equipment for the first time to show that anyone can operate it. I'm really excited about it. I, I um, have had a chance to operate one uh, in Wisconsin and they're very easy to operate and they're very simple to operate and um, they're being used widely across the, the Great Lakes beaches and about every week or so we hear about uh, an instance where um, they were used to make a rescue. Emily and Corey's drownings were just two of more than 1,200 drownings that have occurred in the Great Lakes since 2010. But thanks to the family's donation of Emily, the tragedy of their deaths is being turned into a life-saving legacy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT22 YouTube channel.